Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will talk about the return of Jesus. As a kid, I was afraid of being left behind. I can clearly remember one day. My mom dropped me off at a day camp as she was working and running a business. I was so afraid that she wouldn't come back that I ran after the car down the gravel road and I just kept crying. Now, many people aren't sure if Jesus is coming back. And if he is, will they miss it? Well, Paul doesn't want any of God's children to worry about this. Here's what Paul says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. In the previous two verses, Paul has been reminding the Thessalonian believers that they have hope that is incomparable to any other hope in the world. They do not grieve over the death of a Christian because they have hope in Christ's work on the cross and his resurrection. That's why in verse 14, he points out that our resurrection is secured in Christ's resurrection. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection changed everything. We have forgiveness of sins and an eternal future that is beyond anything we will experience on earth. Our future is eternal peace and joy while reigning with Christ. Now, this isn't pie-in-the-sky hope. It is sure because God has already done it. He said it would happen, and that leads us into verse 15. It's here Paul says, for this we declare to you by a word from the Lord. What Paul said was not speculation or a good story. It was truth because it came from God. Whenever someone questions something I say, I always point them back to the Bible. I could be wrong. I could misspeak, but God's word is sure. It's final. It's trustworthy. Paul always points back to God and his word, and so should we. Then he says that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. Well, what is happening here? Did Jesus return 2,000 years ago? Uh, was Paul wrong? What exactly is the story? It is true that there will be a generation of Christians that will be alive when Jesus returns. It could have been Paul's generation, but it wasn't. Jesus is coming again. His return is imminent, so there will be Christians alive when that happens. Some believers at the time of Paul's writings were concerned that Jesus' return was coming, and their loved ones who died would miss his return. They were afraid that those who died would miss the Jesus bus. So Paul is reassuring them, you don't have to worry. Whenever Christ comes back, he'll come for everyone who is saved, both alive and dead. Remember, death for the believer is not death, but sleep. He will wake those who have died and collect the saints who are alive. Friend, Jesus Christ is alive at the right hand of God. He didn't forget about us. He will come back, but not until the proper time. When is that? <laughs> we don't know. If someone tells you they know, run the other way. We shouldn't be idle as we wait. We shouldn't waste our time. We shouldn't abuse our time. We should live with hope and run with purpose. That's the key to waiting for his return. Live on purpose and for a purpose, because when we do, we will win the day.